previously on Unity 101 videos. Why is it not working? It worked yesterday. Hi, welcome back to our Unity 101 videos. I'm Abdullah. In our previous video, we played around with physics and collisions. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find problems in your code and fixing them. That's what we call debugging. So let's get started. So imagine coming back to the project we created in our last video, pressing the play button, the cube falling down to the plane, but nothing is happening. You go back to Visual Studio, you check your code, and nothing seems to be wrong. So what do you do in a situation like this? Well, debugging, of course. But what is debugging in the context of Unity? Well, Visual Studio has a powerful Unity debugger that allows you to attach it to Unity. You can create breakpoints and freeze up the execution of your code at those specific breakpoints. So now, to figure out what's wrong with our project, I want to check out if onCollisionEnter is even running. Let's create a breakpoint by selecting the line of code we want to break at from the left margin of the text editing area of Visual Studio. If you see a red dot, you've done it correctly. And now, let's attach the Unity debugger to Unity. If you have multiple instances of Unity running, you can choose which instance you want to attach it to. We're just attaching it to the default right now. If you see the red status bar, as well as no errors, the debugger is attached and ready to go. So let's go back to Unity and press the play button. We will see that your code will stop executing, Visual Studio will pop up, and your breakpoint will be highlighted. You can roll your mouse over the different variables to monitor them and explore what values they hold. You can even go to the locals window. You can explore all the variables in this class as well as in the context of this method. And after some inspection, I think I can see where the error is happening. The tag of the plane in the Unity editor is actually written floor with a capital F, but we're comparing it to floor with a small f. So let's fix that real quick. Save our file and continue the debugging session. And let's restart the game in the Unity editor. Of course, the game will hit the same breakpoint, right? But now I want to take another step within debugging to see what's the state of the code after executing one extra line. We can do that by pressing the step into button or pressing F11. By doing that, we can explore the state of the code one line at a time. And you can stop the debugging session by pressing the stop button. But what if I wanted to create a breakpoint that only activates under certain conditions? For example, I wanted to only break if tag was not equal to floor. So you can right click on a breakpoint, choose conditions, and then write collision dot game object dot tag not equal to floor and just press close. Let's go ahead and attach the debugger again. Switch back to Unity. Make sure that the plane that we have is tagged as floor and then play again. You'll notice that the debugger is not breaking, just as expected. But now let's untag the plane that we have and press play again. The debugger has stopped the execution of code just as we set it up. Another cool feature that Visual Studio provides for Unity users is code analysis tools. For example, Visual Studio can detect that we're doing a string comparison when we're doing tag equals equals to floor. It will show us a light bulb on the left margin. If you click on that, it will recommend to us something different. Oh, it seems like using equal equal is inefficient. We should use the compare tag method instead. If we click on that, it will apply the suggestion automatically. I hope you remember this video the next time you have issues with your code. Just attach the debugger to Unity. And whenever you see that light bulb on the side, just click on it. See what Visual Studio is trying to tell you.
Maybe it will fix your code with just one click. Join us in our next video where we're finally going to build our game. It's going to turn into an executable that you can just put on a phone or Windows or Mac or any other platform. It's going to be exciting. See you in the next one.